What's up everybody? Tindo here with me. I've got Xena Warrior Princess Hannah and today our only real goal is to go to the Goodwill bins and to eat some food, not particularly in that order. But that's what you can expect on today's episode and anything else will be extra. So stick around. <laughs> So we are at good old Chick-fil-A, and I'm gonna have some uh, chicky nuggies, and then Hannah has brought me some macaroni, because I'm five. What'd you get? I got a chicken sandwich and one fry, but then they gave me another fry because they got mac and cheese, so. So we got double fries. <laughs> but uh, I usually do a salad here a couple times a week for breakfast, essentially. Uh, but I just don't feel like all that green today, so I'm just gonna do the, the grilled chicken nuggies. Nowhere near as good as the breaded chicken nuggies, but uh, trying to stay away from fried stuff. Been doing pretty good. All right, we're at the bins now, and I walked right in the door. Camera wasn't even rolling yet, and I found this projector. Now, I find projectors all the time. Usually they only have composite or component inputs, but still people will buy them for, you know, 50 bucks or 60 bucks, so I resell them. So people can take them home and plug their Super Nintendo's into it. But look, this is like crazy. It has HDMI input, and it's working. Oh, wait for it. There it is. It's uh, it's waiting for an input. So the fact that this was in here at the end of a rotation and nobody bought it is kind of crazy. I think someone tested it and didn't realize that there was a standby mode that they could turn on and off. And I think they just thought it wasn't working because people usually fight over these things. But the fact that it has HDMI means either I'm going to keep it and I'm going to play like PlayStation 4 on the wall or I'll probably resell it and make a... I don't know, a couple hundred bucks, hundred bucks, I don't know. I haven't looked up how much this model is worth, but if it's nice and bright and HDMI input, we're rocking today, right off the bat. So today's been a pretty bad day for clothes, but I did find some teenage angst. All right, listen, we're not leaving the bins yet. It's just so crazy in there that I can't get a cart to put my stuff in. So I went ahead and checked out on the first things that I bought. Um, and those first things are an HDMI projector. It looks like they have sold recently on eBay if we're in working condition for 400 bucks. So that's a great start to my day. I kind of want to keep it though, so I've probably got a hard decision to make. And then I cannot take credit for finding this one. A friend of mine who is here has found three Game Boys today, and he gave me the one that uh, he doesn't want to mess with because it's dirty, it's missing its back. But uh, we're starting off the day with a projector and a Game Boy Color. And the Game Boy Color has Monster Truck in it. Super stoked. Maybe I've already found find of the day, I don't know. But I also bought a water jug, just because this is the one I already have on my van. I just got a second one, just in case I need it, but good start to the day, let's keep going. All right, so there is a whole lot of rip here. That's a rip, that's a big rip, and that's a super giant rip. It's all gone, not even a hard drive left. I never find them with their hard drives. Some really interesting space fantasy novels in here, but here's, this is interesting, Spider-Man magazine. And then, TI-85, nice. Ooh, Star Wars book, I am 100% buying that. Alright, we're on to a whole new rotation. Pink Taz, Ford, bunch of nonsense. Rip. The store for this <laughs> is that Lego or Duplo? A little bit, it's a little bit of Lego in there. There's like three dudes and nothing else. That's funny. For some reason there's a Harry Potter in the Lego racers. So. Of course there is. <laughs> uh, you want like 10 Legos? Yeah, I'll put them in my pocket. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, baby. That's fine of the day right there. Let's go. Vader helmet. Bunch of nonsense, really. That sucks. Look at this. That's the $20 cup for Harkins, but it just went out of date at the end of this month. The spin is incredibly chock full with these beautiful vintage baby clothes. Like I just can't even. Look at this. This one, this is vintage too. Like super old tag in it. Hey, look at this one, the little fish. I mean, that's a pretty, it says made in USA, so that one's old too. Like this little rainbow shirt. I need a manager, register one, manager, register one. Just all of this, so old, so pretty. <gasps> look at that. Oh my God, I wish I could. I wish I could find the matching one. Like I just, I just hoard that. It's just too cute to leave in here. But I, there's no way I'll find the other one. Scoot over. Oh, shit. Look at this hell spawn. That's scary. It's like bootleg like Pikachu. <laughs> I thought these were laser glasses, but I don't think so. No. Yeah. They just look cool glasses. They're just Terminator glasses? Yeah. <laughs> All the ones for lasers actually have markings with all the ratings. So. Beer goggles. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Very nice. <laughs> I, I thought these were funny. <laughs> Beer goggles. You know, I completely forgot, but I did bring my flashlight today. Adult diapers. Is that what they are? Adult diapers? Sometimes they're necessary. Yeah. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing that they didn't use all of them. Yeah. Look at that. What a crazy as hot wheels. Oh, the speed chart. Oh, wow. That's a lot of shit. Look at all these tracks. You know what, too? I wish I could find, see how tall the walls are on that? Yeah. I wish I could find a thousands and thousands of those straight. Gosh dang. I half want to buy them, but I'm trying to quit. I'm trying to, trying to quit that habit. A All-Stars Racing Transform. So, it's a Sonic racing game I actually don't have. Anybody in Fortnite? There's a rather sad pickaxe. Ruh row. GameCube, let's go. It's actually first party. All of these I have are aftermarket, so it's nice to find a nice to find the real one. So check this out. Xbox, right? I find these here ten times a day. But they're really tough to get out of here because they cut they weigh so much, so paying for them by weight is no bueno. Here's something else that's really funny. Here is an Xbox power supply with a breaker on it. I'll reset it, plug it in. 
and it throws it immediately, which means this thing's ready to catch on fire. So it's real. So because my previous job was working in bridal, there's just moments in the bins where I spot a vintage wedding dress and it's just, I have to admire it for a second. I don't sell vintage wedding dresses, but if the right one comes along, maybe I'd grab it. But this one's just really pretty. collar on the top and then metal zipper down the back. It's very stiff though, like this is like wearing cardboard. I don't know how they did it back then. Fabrics are so soft now. So I'll tell you what's really funny about the Wii sensor bars is I never actually see the bars first. I always see that little orange nubbin and there's actually two of them. So there's two Wii sensor bars here. Let's see if I can get them untangled. It's kind of hard to decide where to start. I don't see the other end of one of the bars. They're really tangled. This is Hannah work. She's much better at this than I am. Should I do the Hannah call? You think if I do it, she'll come running? Cause I'm not doing a lot of good. There it is. Come on now up out of there and there you go two we sensor bars both oem so let's go i found two things here that are real amazing first off three brand new packs of sandpaper that's awesome second thing a wireless mouse that actually has the dongle in it that's a first that's what that is that never happens oh why thank you hold on to it for me let me Sandpaper, mouse, remote, stand, double Wii sensor bar. How do you feel about it? I mean, sure. It's ripped, fam. All right, let's see how the books are. Just want one more Star Wars book, but not that one. Not that one. Feels like a... Lord of Chaos. Let's, let's, huh? The bunch of them. Bunch of nonsense in here. So I picked these up and almost got a paper cut. They're so stiff. So I picked up a stack of comic books too. Uh, just, you know, extra stuff. Stuff to look at. And uh, I'm a big fan of Louis L'Amour books. Kind of thinking about uh, going through this whole collection and reading them one by one as I find them. They show up a ton and it's just really really well written dialogue and also if you ever watch justified on television one of my favorite shows because of how good the dialogue is it's based off of one of these guys stories so i love those books probably the best thing i found today faceplate for a 360 how dope is that uh fortnite pickaxe I got a few video games today. There's a couple more in here. No, nothing great, but we'll talk about them when we get back to the game room. Hannah got some dope clothes. There's some some little stuff in here I need to go through and make sure it's not worth anything. I don't think it is. You know, just remotes that sometimes you can find a remote at the bins that's worth 80 bucks just because of how specific it is. Someone that needs a replacement. Also one of the best things I found today, probably. GameCube power adapter, 100% buying that. Hannah referred to this today as a Wii condom. All right, Hannah. Uh, and then I'm gonna look these up, but I found about 20 of these, and these are to a really expensive board game. So I'm hoping that they might actually resell. Gotta look them up though. Uh, but there's a bunch of them. And then this I'm really excited about. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm gonna flip through here and make sure there's not just a map of Phoenix so I can have a map of Phoenix to pinpoint some of the uh, thrift store locations on. But I'm gonna go through the rest of this stuff and kind of sort it out into what we are and are not buying and then we're gonna get out of here. All right, well, I got a giant bag full of nonsense. It didn't even all show up on camera because it just, it was so crazy in there. You got a big old stack of clothes. I did. So we'll talk about this a little bit later when we get home. We'll just go through everything we got. This place is happening. It's popping. Look at this chicken bowl. It just looks like lettuce, but there's chicken under there. 
What'd you get? I got a chicken bowl. Let's see it. Hurry up. Open it. Yeah. That looks, that looks all right, I guess. It looks unhealthy. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back in the game room, and I hope you enjoyed that little trip to the bins. It's probably going to be happening a little bit more than usual, us going to the bins. We're trying to get a little bit ahead in terms of reselling and uh, get our stock up a little bit. So the best way to do that is the bins. So I highly recommend anybody out there, if you are a reseller or you want to get into it, find your nearest bins. Most people have one within 100 or 200 miles of them. So... You know, if you you want to check out the Goodwill bins because you've seen it on our show and you think it would be something cool to experience, I bet you there is one within a couple hundred miles of you. You could make a day trip of it. Uh, and if not, just stick around here on the channel because we'll be going a lot more coming up over the next couple of weeks. And I think you're about to see why because I got a really eclectic mix of nonsense. So let's, uh, let's just do either or, go back and forth with the items that we got today. I'm gonna to start with a handful of Legos. A buddy of mine found the box and it didn't really have much in it, but there's like one minifig and a bunch of Lego nonsense. And I fill bags like this. About once a month, I fill up a bag just from walking out of there with pockets full. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what did you get? I got a Sesame Street. Ooh, there, there, goes, there goes Legos. Legos. Uh, Sesame Street sweatshirt that's so dope it's why, pretty cool why doesn't the awesome stuff ever fit me you'll be seeing this on the channel all right you're gonna be wearing it is i'm that, aware is that for you it's mine i got a i got a fortnite pickaxe which is just in time because uh we're gonna we're gonna be going home for a little while in a couple weeks and uh i need to get some prezzies for my little nephews one of them is gonna be beating the other with this thing uh it's a little deflated but i wasn't gonna put my lips on it to blow the rest of the way up but uh Fortnite, let's go. I got a denim dress that I'm gonna shorten and sell. So okay. it's just a dark wash denim and a little corset back situation, a little button up front. We're gonna whack off a few feet off the bottom, make it a short dress. All right. Uh, I got a Mario box. <laughs> it's probably something from a Comic Con t shirt or something like that came in it. But I'll just be sitting it right here on the Mario shelf. I gotta move some stuff out of the way first, but that's probably one of my favorite things I found today. Your turn. My turn. Um, this is a pair of overalls. I sell a lot of overalls um, in varying states of vintage. So these are probably from the 90s. These are Cherokee. Um, they've just got a few like little blemishes on it, but that just kind of adds to the patina. People like it a little grungy. Very nice. You also got a fanny pack. Oh. <laughs> it's not important. We sell them for like 15 bucks all the time. Uh, Star Wars shirt, just because. What else did I get? Um, I got another Star Wars book today. Uh, I bought a few on yesterday's episode, and I will be continuing to do so coming up. Uh, it's not, this is probably not what I'm going to read, but uh, I'm thinking about either just collecting these uh, Star Wars books as a whole, just because it would be something I would have a lot of fun collecting. Or maybe I'll get into reselling them in bundles. Not really sure, but we'll talk about that more soon because it's something I'm really thinking a lot about. Your turn. My turn. This is probably my favorite piece I got today. Um, so ridiculous. It's this LA gear jacket, and it's got like this retro car at the bottom. It's an 80s crop jacket. It's got like a little bit of shoulder pad action going on. It's pretty cool. Uh, what else did I get? I don't even know what to tell you. All right, I'll tell you some of the miscellaneous. Uh, these right here, you can't see it because I positioned them all off camera. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it all tangled up. But these are just uh, garage clamps for lights, for light bulbs, and we light this whole house, this whole studio with it. And you've probably noticed our backdrop's a little less lit than our faces are. It's just because we've had a hard time getting enough lights to do it. I have some nice expensive camera lights and those are kind of what's hanging up here, mainly lighting us. But I don't have enough of them to go around to light the whole room. So we're just gonna be putting up china balls on these. But it sucks because we need like 20 of them and they cost nine or ten dollars a piece so I, I hate spending the money on them especially since they always show up at the bins which you know what let me go ahead and dig something out of here just to make another point about the bins since today and maybe the, a few days out of the next couple of weeks are going to be bin heavy days as a very crafty person there's nothing better than the bins this is all this is all unused sandpaper 
you know, the, I mean, this is only like 10, $15 worth of sandpaper I have in here. I have more of it, but I hate paying for that stuff. Yeah, it's, especially when it's so cheap at the bins. Yeah, especially these. I need these all the time. There's never enough of them. Um, and then also just more of these cables. Two weeks since the bars, I spent so much time untangling. They're tangled back up again. But I usually get them home and I'll wrap them around themselves and put them in a plastic bag. And a GameCube power adapter, another one of my favorite things that I found today because I only have aftermarket ones laying around and I need more first party. All right, your turn. I got another pair of overalls. These are some gray corduroy overalls. Uh, they do have a little stain at the bottom, so I'll either try to get that out or chop them into shorts and very nice. they'll be good to go. Very, very nice. All right, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What should I show you next? There's just so much nonsense. Let me just do a handful. Uh, the front of an Xbox 360. It was just, it was a neat camo one. I haven't seen it. It's all actually there. The springy doors work and haven't come off. These springs often come out on these memory card doors. Uh, a Wii remote cover. And you know what? We threw this in the bag today. I bought this on an episode the other day and it didn't make it inside, but it's a really nasty copy of Tomb Raider's uh, Tomb Raider for PlayStation, but it's the greatest hits, which I didn't have. So I now have the greatest hits when I just need to switch cases because the case is nasty. But that wasn't really from the bins today. I don't remember where I bought it. It I had did. a saver sticker yeah, on it. I so. bought it savers on a half off day. Your turn. My turn. Another pair of overalls. Yay. It was an overalls day for me. Uh, a pair of overall shorts by The Gap. I got another handful of nonsense. We grabbed this headphone preamp uh, for resale. And I think it's a headphone preamp. Yeah, photo preamp. We just, we bought it for resale because it was actually going for a few pennies on eBay. Uh, you know, just uh, just another electronic to resell. It's, uh, I haven't tested it yet, but it's almost weightless. So, you know, if it doesn't work, we're not out of huge loss, but uh, I've got all the stuff required to test that. So no biggie. And then a Xbox breakaway cable. You can never have enough of these. I've got a drawer. Well, I wouldn't say I have a drawer full. I've got a lot of friends that, uh, I tell all the time, don't go spend $10 on those peripherals. Just tell me I've got a drawer full of them. So I'm actually need to replenish my stock because I've been giving them away. Um, a remote I did not mean to buy. Uh, remotes are often another good source of resale. So, you know, I check all the remotes I find just to make sure that they're not something special. Uh, a lot of times if a remote has like an LCD or something like that on it, it's usually special. So sometimes during a round, if we're really looking for stuff for resale like we were today, I just threw every remote I came across in my bag and made sure it wasn't a $25, $35 plus dollar remote. Uh, I also got a violin or viola chin rest. And I didn't mean to buy that either, but just a little charger. And then a nice little display stand. So I'll display something here on the shelves with that. I buy all these little display stands I can at the bins because like it's not all going to be on camera, but like I have my Switch on display up there, and I've got some games on display up there, and they're all just these cheap little plastic and or metal display stands that things can lean on, which makes me happy. And then I bought a wireless mouse, uh, just because it had the dongle. And we've got a little workstation in our bedroom that we pretty much just use for printing labels for our clothes reselling business. And I've been wanting a nice mouse, nice little convenient mouse for it. And so hopefully that works. I haven't tested it yet. All right, you do your last one and then I'll move on. Um, this last one, a little Pokemon shirt. That is so rad. It is a bold Pokemon shirt. So rad. And I'll do this one really quick okay. too, because this is technically your item. Yeah. Boom! It's a 3X baby, so I'll be wearing that. SpongeBob and Patrick. It's me and Patrick, beasts. I'll, uh, we gotta get that washed and then I'm gonna wear it. All right, I've got a whole other bag full of stuff here. Uh, let's go, let's go through the games first. You know, I feel like I'm missing a game. Uh, no, maybe I did only get two. I only got two games today. The Amazing Spider-Man, which is nice that it's one that I didn't have. These are both for Xbox 360. And then Sonic All-Star Racing's Transformed. I actually, I guess I've never played any of these. I might have played that Spider-Man at one point, but this is a Sonic Racing game I was not aware of. So either one of these games, definitely comment below and let us know if we should play them and why. And maybe we'll take your suggestion to do so. Uh, more sandpaper. <laughs> I love the bins, man, I'm so serious. Um, yeah, and then there's just kind of another stack here of stuff that we're gonna talk about. I'm not trying to heavily get into to, uh, comic reselling, and these are not really valuable for reselling at all, but uh, 
there's some things we've got that we're going to do coming up uh, to kind of boost our reselling. We're going to try to sell some stuff in person at, in a certain way. I guess it's, it's stuff we'll talk about real soon. You'll know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to buy up a few comics and you know, Star Wars books maybe will be something I'd do with that as well. Uh, so that's what those were. Now, I've been trying to read more. I've just been trying, you know... I haven't read near as much as I did in high school, but I do feel like I read a lot more than most of my uh, other friends that are about my age. Because most of us in this generation have just kind of, you know, fallen out of reading. Because it's just, it's easy, it's easy not to read. But uh, I feel like it really keeps my mind exercised and engaged. So I've been, I'm going to start buying up these Louis L'Amour books also and reading. I'd kind of like to know how much of our audience is into reading. Because I, I really am, and I, and, I, and Hannah... Hannah is sometimes, she's a very periodic reader. Once she gets into something, she'll read it. But uh, I, I like to keep reading. I'm not saying we're going to make a Tendo's book club or nothing, but uh, I, I thought maybe in the future we might do something with reading. You know, on the Discord, have a section, and just the, you know, if we have a thousand subs, maybe five of you are interested in chatting about books or something, maybe we'll do that. But uh, Louis L'Amour is just, I think, a wonderful author probably one of the best writers of dialogue to ever live and that's why I like reading his books and he has just so many of these little novels that, like I can read this in like 45 minutes this is nothing it's they're pretty much short stories uh but yeah I was very happy to find that this one is Hanging Woman Creek I have not read that I've only read a few in the past but I want to read more of them now this big stack of stuff here is something I took a chance on I didn't even really read it uh but it's for a board game called Descent and uh, maybe some of you board game players that are in the house can uh, chat with us a little bit about this. But this is something that I knew just enough about and I chatted with a friend about. And uh, maybe it will be worth reselling as a lot. There's just several books here. And uh, yeah, let me see how many there are. There's several. Gosh, there's, there's just more and more of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as soon as we get done with this, uh, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna see if uh, we're gonna see if they resell for anything, and then if they don't, I did not mean to buy this. <laughs> it's a band. It's a it's a band book. That's hilarious. Um, I saw that on your stack, and I was like, "What is that?" Well, it must have been in this stack, and I didn't look at it. Oh, there's more. There's a couple maps here too. We're gonna see if these resell. If they are, we're gonna go ahead and, and post them. And if not, I do have a, a few friends that are super into board game stuff, like back home. And uh, if, it, if it's worth it to them, uh, I'll just take this stuff back home and perhaps give it away. Uh, but I have, we've kind of sold some stuff like that in the past. You know, expansion packs for card games or board games. And then uh, Dungeon Survival Guide for Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, we sold a couple things like this also. But we might save this kind of stuff for that in-person market kind of thing we want to do in the near future so um that's all that's all for resell not trying to get way way more into reselling in our future videos but i i we definitely you know we'll tell you that's why we bought stuff and maybe we'll discuss some of our reselling strategies in the future but we're not really trying to turn into a reselling channel you know we've pretty much just done video game hunting up until this point but you know at some point we started adding hannah's clothes hunting in and you guys have responded really well to that so it's just another layer and uh like i said i i think maybe most of tomorrow's episode will also be us at the bins we might try to hit a couple regular goodwills i don't know but uh we just haven't spent enough time at the bins this year before we started this channel that was almost all we did in our spare time. I mean, we were at the bins a lot of days open until close. And so we're not necessarily trying to get back to that. But we do need to go to the bins as much as possible now so that whenever it is hot, we don't have to go as much. Because once it gets hot here in Phoenix, whoo, it gets hot. Yeah. It's like I was thinking about that today, too, when I was walking around the bins. Because I was so cold in there. There is no air control whatsoever in that place so it's like um, I was thinking to myself you need to enjoy this even yeah. though you're miserable right now and your nose won't stop running you need to enjoy it because it's gonna come a day where you're gonna be just sweating buckets and angry oh, sure. <laughs> I want to talk about the bins just a little bit more I I would say five out of ten videos we make for you I don't show something at the end of the video that we got during the video because I forget it 
and I leave it laying somewhere. But I bought a little Ninja Turtle, and I know I just said like three episodes ago I wasn't gonna get modern stuff, but I'm not gonna spend money on the modern stuff. If it's at the bins, and it's cheap, and it's the modern stuff, I'll buy it. But otherwise, the only thing I'm gonna spend any money, and not much money, on, like at regular Goodwills, is gonna be the, the vintage stuff. But I bought this stack of cards, today. I don't know why I did. It's a bunch of uh, original trilogy Star Wars. Uh, they're like screen grabs from the movie. So like, I don't know, let me find one that's real recognizable. Here's Anakin and Obi-Wan standing next to each other. And they all just have like scene descriptions, you know, and screen grabs on them. I, it's not stuff I needed to buy, but I'm just gonna actually right now sit this back here on my Star Wars shelf. I definitely liked that kind of thing when I was a kid. But uh, yeah, I, I ended up buying them. And I hope that's everything that we got today. Did but you talk about this? Oh, what would I do without you? <laughs> This was the best thing I got today. This is the find of the day for getting stuff left and right. We got a Game Boy today, baby. Super pumped about it. Now look, it does have some goo on it. It has some terrible, terrible, terrible goo on it. And uh, I think Hannah's gonna try to remove it as soon as this episode's over. But of course it's missing its back, which about half of my Game Boy Color collection is. But I didn't actually have this color, Game Boy Color, uh, I think. I might have one laying somewhere, but I definitely don't have it on my shelf right now, and it's hard for me to remember sometimes which colors I have. But I'm gonna order a new back for it, and uh, well, I'll test it first, make sure it comes on. And I'm gonna order a bunch of new backs for a lot of my Game Boys. Because I've even got a lot of Game Boy Advances that are missing their backs. But that was fine of the day for me, and that was given to me from a buddy of mine who, uh, he knows what I'm into, and I know what he's into, so sometimes if we find stuff that, you know, we know one of the others into, we'll hand it off. But, uh, you know, he also hands me stuff he doesn't like messing with. He's such a great guy. I've gotten some very useful stuff in this collection from him. I, I, I can't even probably tell you everything, but I look around and I see things, I'm like, yep, he gave it to me. So, it's good to have friends. It's especially good to have friends that are also into thrifting, is how I feel about it. But what was your favorite thing you got today? Um, probably that jacket. I think it's pretty rad. That jacket's pretty cool. I'm going to go with the Game Boy. I mean, that's just awesome. Even though I, I didn't find it, I didn't earn it, uh, I'm very happy to have it. Oh, yeah, you know what? We bought a projector, too. I'm just looking around the room seeing more stuff. That's for resale. We tested it. I'll actually throw up a picture right here uh, of it projecting on our door, and I want you to know that the most lit up place in the entirety of our house is that front door and it still looks that bright yeah it's pretty beautiful that is a good projector to be completely honest with you i don't really want to sell it i want to keep it and use it but there is not a single ounce of white wall space in the entirety of this house so there's really no reason to plus we're trying to get a little bit ahead uh on you know financially so we're trying to save some, so we can save some money to travel really soon. So pretty much anything that's not mailed, nailed down right now is going to get sold. So rest in peace, you beautiful projector. That's the first one I've found in a long time with HDMI input. Yeah. So it's hard. I plugged the Wii into it, the Wii U, and it just lit up the whole house. But it was a good find. Not as good as a find as that Game Boy, but it was a good find. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you want to get more of a bin fix, definitely come around for the next week. I mean, it's not going to be all we do, but I, like I said, I, be warned. We're going we're gonna to do a little extra bidding this week. And also, before you go, I want you to mark your calendars for me. Tuesdays and Saturdays are our live stream days here on the channel. On Tuesdays, we do a live podcast and we get into all kinds of shenanigans. You want to tell them about the shenanigans we got into yesterday? Oh, my gosh. So they made me make them hot wings. <laughs> out and put the chick-fil-a sauce you can get for your for your chicken sandwich and the other half we put the mcdonald's buffalo wing sauce you get for your chicken nuggets and we put them on the hot wings and then they didn't like either of them uh, we, 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 liked them all. we ate a lot of them but yeah we made we made mcdonald's hot wings and we made Chick-fil-A hot wings. And we're not going to always do food stuff, but on our live podcast, we're always going to do something ridiculous. When I say we're going to do something ridiculous, I'm going to sit here and talk and make Patrick and or Hannah do ridiculous stuff. But uh, we're just kind of mentioning it on the regular episodes just to make sure you guys know what's up on those podcasts and hopefully convince you to come over and hang out with us when we do them. Because I personally have not ever had as much fun making these videos as I have on those podcasts. And I think it'll show when you watch them. But of course, they're up right now, so go watch the old ones and maybe 
maybe those will convince you to come back next time. But also, before you go, guys, pretty, pretty please go join our Discord. The link is below. It's a community forum where we hang out and chat with each other. So if, you, if you've if you done any bins shopping lately, definitely come over there and show us what you've got. I, you know, we do a mostly video game talking over there, but I love it when people come show me their nonsense they buy because... There's a lot of nonsense at the Goodwill bins. And then last couple things I can ask of you, please hit that subscribe button. We went up a few subs today. It was awesome. If we could just do it again tomorrow, that'd be awesome. So if you hit that sub button, you make your boy happy. And then everybody the sub, make sure you hit that notification bell so that when we post videos going to the bins or when we go live for that podcast, you'll get a notification as soon as we do that. And you come back there and hang out with us. Until then, guys, double peace out.